Honestly, I just don't want to be with nobody. I don't want nothing. I don't even want sex. I just want to have fun. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Hey, baby. Hey, hey, how you do? Remember me? I'd have to lose all the brain cells in my head before I forget something as fine as you. Does everyone need an audition to get with you? You ain't gotta go through all that shit. Then I choose you. Keeping it 100, keeping it real about relationships. In this clip, we're gonna look at keeping it 100, going back to just being super single. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hello. I understand that everybody don't keep up with live feeds and videos and this and that. But a lot of you guys ask the same redundant question. And it's okay. I'll answer it this one last time. I'm not with that trucker fella no more. And it's no diss to him. No disrespect to him. But... We didn't work out mutually, and I am totally a single woman. And yes, just because I am a single woman, and I'm going to say this as respectful as I can. Just because I'm a single woman, you guys in my comment section, please don't feel like that it's your turn. Uh, give me a chance. Uh, 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 like, I'm going to give you a chance because I'm not. My friend girl asked me this question. She was like, girl, you really going to give up on being with somebody? I said, yes, women do it all the time. My auntie gave up on men when she was 40. And she literally never had another man until the day she died. And I think I want to follow that trend. Because I don't have time for um, commitment right now. I just don't want it. I want to be free. I want to live my life. I don't want to have to answer to nobody. Like, I enjoy freedom. So, honestly, I just don't want to be with nobody. I don't want nothing. I don't even want sex. I just want to have fun. Never had much of it. Spent my whole life raising kids, worrying with crazy men and this, that, and everything else. This point in my life is a new chapter. And this new chapter of my life is total fun peace and happiness and I get a lot of that by myself so if I want to do what I want to do how I want to do it bae, I can do it because I ain't got nobody to answer to and I'm going to keep it that way and you have a huge heart you could have a lot and I keep talking about this because this current situation that I just got out of it kind of makes me, I wouldn't say surprised, but it's not right. It's like when you have more than some people you try to give a chance to, you can put yourself in jeopardy because you can have secret haters that you never would think would hate on you because you're helping them out and you know you're doing so much for them. And it's like they mad because they, they don't understand or they don't want you to have the things they got. And it's like, the reason why I'm saying that, look at this shit right here, right? This truck is my truck. This trailer, my trailer. Uh, let somebody, y'all know who I'm talking about, use my stuff to try to better they self. And this is the things I get. You use my trailer to try to make fucking money and you bring my shit back with a flat fucking tire and you leave that shit like that for me to pay for not only do you bring it back with a flat tire after you went out and hustled and supposed to make money you you bring my shit back on complete e like my sister posted on her facebook when somebody show you the true colors that they are how trifling and how much they do not want to add to your life. Don't sit there and think that that's a phase. Or that they might change this and the third. Because you want to see them make it. But they don't want to see you make it. And they will try to destroy what you got. 
if you let them in your house. Literally. They'll try to destroy your house. Look at this shit right here. Got so mad. You ripped down all the LEDs you put up after everything I've done. Ripped that shit down. Then you kick my door in. I mean, kick that bitch in. Boom! Now I'm stuck to fix it. I have to fix this. You put a fucking hole in this door. Now I'm stuck to fix that too, right? But most likely, you going around telling people and trying to slander my name because I don't want to take your shit. Like I see your hate and jealousy when you trying to make it look like you care about somebody and obviously you don't. You know what, sweetheart? The reason why I believe that social media relationships tend to not work most of the time, because that's not really true. You got some social media relationships that they've been doing their, their platform with each other for years, for a long time. But I feel like for somebody to really have a social media relationship, they have to have a confidence, both of them, not just one, both people, man and woman, whatever. Y'all have to both be confident when the trolls come. You got to be confident when people try to break you up. Your confidence level, like you, is no room for insecurities. Because you got some people that will deal with the nonsense and they'll deal with the, just the, just it's no peace because it's always arguing over whatever, whatever. But I ain't the type of person for that. I've been through too much in my life to let anybody project their insecurities on me, to let anybody talk to me any kind of way. I don't give a fuck. You knew what you were signing up for when you got with me. But from now on, like, if I ever, ever find another male friend, which I don't really want it at this point, I don't really feel like I want one. I really don't. But if I ever do, because you never know what life will bring. If I ever do, I'm not posting it. Y'all will never know if I'm in a relationship or not. Because from just from all the mistakes of posting these dudes that just, just know. Like, making these mistakes and making myself look bad. I'm not doing that shit no more. The only way I will post a man. Like, we done been dating for a while. And we're actually, like. I can show you the marriage license. We're married. Like, we fucking sealed the deal. If it's not my husband that I will post on here, I ain't posting another nan nigga type relationship on this shit at all. That's if you know your man in real life, why you got to know him on Facebook? Like, what does that do for you other than invite people in your business, invite people to tell you how your relationship will work, invite people to tell you what happiness is for you? Every single relationship is unique and social media is literally the death of relationships because you have this platform that tells you what your love should look like. It's impossible. You cannot make it that way. You've got to seclude your relationship. You have got to keep that thing out of other people's reach because if it's sacred to you, why does everybody else need to touch it? There is a reason why when you shake somebody's hand, you reach out to them with your right hand, because it's the hand that touches the least amount of Well, there you have it, drivers. Tell me, guys, what do you think? Leave your comments in the comments below. Tell me your thoughts about social media relationships. My question to you, do you have uh, a female or, or a guy that you want to put on your social media? Or do you have them on your social media? Or how, or is it a good? is it good or is it bad i mean me personally i you know think that social media relationships don't work guys let me know in your com in the comments below i mean do you guys agree Ooh.